I'm your review guide and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the TCL Alto 6 Plus and Alto 8i. And if at any point during the video you want to go check out these exact same soundbars, I put Amazon links down below for the US, UK, and Canada, but let's get into this review. So the Alto 6 Plus is a 31 and a half inch 2.1 soundbar and subwoofer combo coming in at around 100 bucks. And the Alto 8i is just a 2.1 system comprised of a soundbar and two dual built-in subwoofers that comes in at around $150. So they are very similar in price, but the Alto 6 Plus has a designated downfiring subwoofer, while the Alto 8i has two mini dual built-in subwoofers. But first, let's talk about the sound differences. I'm gonna start this off by saying that both of these sound bars sound really amazing for the price point, 100 bucks and $150, but I'm gonna dive into what flaws I found about them. So first, the Alto 6 Plus. The Alto 6 Plus, it has flat trebles, so the sound isn't very crisp. It sounds a little bit muffled. It sounds still very nice. The mids are nice and the bass levels are great due to it having its own designated downfiring subwoofer, but it isn't a crisp sound. Now, the Alto 8i, on the other hand, has a very crisp sound. The trebles are very nice as well as the mids, but since it does not have a designated subwoofer, it lacks a little bit in the bass. Now, it's not saying that the bass isn't there. You do hear the bass, but it pales in comparison to a designated subwoofer, which the Alto 6 Plus has. But here's the sound comparison of the two. Take a listen. <laughs> So that is how the two sound. So you're basically making a decision whether you want a crisp sounding speaker sound system or you want more of the thumping bass. It's really a give and take. But now let's go into surround sound capability. Now these are both just 2.1 systems, so it's not gonna be a crazy intense surround sound experience. The Alto 8i is a little bit better than the Alto 6 Plus. It can give like left front and left back, so you do get a little bit of differentiation between the sounds, same for the right side. The Alto 6 Plus doesn't have Dolby Atmos like the Alto 8i does, so it's kind of hard for it to mimic the surround sound experience. I say it's pretty good for how much you're gonna pay for it, but the Alto 8i comes a little bit on top. Now let's go into EQs a little bit. They are a budget sound system, so you're not gonna be able to, unfortunately, mess with the EQ and personalize it the way you want to. They come with three presets, so a music, movie, and TV. TV's gonna focus more on clear dialogue, movie's gonna try to balance dialogue and explosions with the bass, and music's gonna try to balance the instruments while not overpowering the singer's voice. They do all of these very well, especially the Alto 6 Plus. It does a very good job at managing the bass levels in action movies to the dialogue. Also, when we're on the topic of modes, there is a Bluetooth mode, which seamlessly connects to your smartphone. You just turn the sound system into Bluetooth mode, and the phone has no no problem recognizing the speakers. It comes up right away. You either say Alto 6 Plus or Alto 8i connects to it and you can play music and stream it through that wirelessly very nicely. So the build quality, the Alto 8i is more expensive, so therefore it's going to have better build quality and look a lot nicer. It is very sleek and minimalistic and it is a lot heavier compared to the Alto 6 Plus. Now that could be because there's two dual subwoofers built into the soundbar and it is a lot longer, but the feeling with the fabric wrapped around the whole thing and the TCL logo and the actual press in button they're not touch sensitive, they actually press in. And also, it does have a little LED screen in the front, so when you're turning up the volume or switching the inputs, you can actually see it changing the volume and switching the inputs. Now, the build quality of the Alto 6 Plus, it is only 100 bucks for the soundbar and the subwoofer combined, so very cheap in terms of home media audio systems. So, it just has the fabric wrapped around the top, and it does have buttons on the top, but they are touch sensitive, so you can't actually press the buttons in, which can get a little bit annoying sometimes, but it's still a nice feature that they have. Also, on the front, it does not have an LED screen, so it doesn't actually show you text. So that is why I kept the sticker on the top that shows you the different color meanings 
so I can see which one's optical audio and HDMI. It does stay on the settings when you switch it, so it's not that confusing, but it can be a little bit if you don't remember the colors and what they mean. The subwoofer is very nice, very minimalistic, which I prefer because it'll fit into any style of room. But now let's talk about the setup process. So because these are both TCL, like I mentioned before, they are pretty much the same setup process. You plug them in and it's Roku TV ready. So Roku TV ready only works if you plug it in via HDMI. So if you're gonna plug this in using the optical cable, you're not gonna go through the setup process. But if you plug it in via HDMI, your Roku TV is going to automatically recognize it and walk you through the setup process on the TV. But that's pretty much it. it. Takes like two minutes to set these things up. So they are very much plug and play. Now, that being said, it is a Roku TV ready sound system, but just because of that doesn't mean it has to be a Roku TV. These are gonna work with LG, Samsung. They're gonna work either way. It's just they're more compatible and easier to set up if you have a Roku TV. So now let's talk about what you get in the box for each of these sound bars. So it has the optical cable, HDMI cable, the power cables, batteries for the remote, the remote itself, and mounting brackets if you want to mount this to the wall. TCL supplies you with everything you could possibly need for the Alto 6 Plus and the Alto 8i. Now, the one tip that I would have to suggest to anybody watching this is that if you're going to set it up, use HDMI. Even if you don't have a Roku TV, you wanna use HDMI because the optical cable has a little bit of a lag for both of these sound systems. That is like half a second, but it is noticeable. So I would highly recommend setting this system up using HDMI. But again, if you wanna go check out the Alto 8i or the Alto 6 Plus, I put Amazon links down below for your convenience. They're both really nice sound systems. Again, budget, so you don't get a lot of customizability with the EQs, but they sound nice. The Alto 8i has focuses more on the crispness of the sound, but lacks a little bit in the bass due to it not having a designated subwoofer. And the Alto 6 Plus has pounding bass, but lacks a little bit of crispness with the flat trebles. So I would personally go with the Alto 8i. My personal decision, I would just prefer the crispness of the audio. But at the end of the day, it's your decision to make and not mine. So I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, it'd be awesome if you hit that like button or that subscribe button. But I was your review guide and I'll see you in the next video.